Hello and welcome guys to Reception. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper pattern of the ICSC 2021 Chemistry Board Examination. We will also discuss a few tips using which you can maximize your score in the examination. So do watch this video till the end and if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel Reception. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the question paper pattern. ICSE 2021 Chemistry The ICSE 2021 Chemistry question paper will be of 80 marks and you will get 2 hours to solve the whole thing. You will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper before you start writing. The question paper is divided in two sections. Section 1 40 marks and Section 2 40 marks. Let's begin with section 1. Section 1 40 marks. This is a compulsory section and you will have to attempt all the questions in this section. You will face objective type questions in section 1. You will get question 1 and question 1 will have 8 subparts of 5 marks each to give you 8 into 5 40 marks. What are the subparts that you will face? You will get choose the correct answer, you will get state the observation, balanced chemical equations, IUPSC nomenclature of organic compounds, give reasons, numericals, one word answer and fill in the blanks. Now these subparts were asked in the ICSC 2020 chemistry question paper. But you may face some other objective type questions also like match the column state the compound or state the element. So you may face other type of objective type questions also. But in section 1, all the questions will be short questions and objective type questions. So if you have a good understanding of all the topics in chemistry, you can easily answer all the questions over here and score 40 out of 40 in section 1. Now let's move on to section 2. Section 2 40 marks. In section 2, you will have to attempt any 4 questions out of the 6 questions that you get. You will get question 2, question 3, question 4, 5, 6 and 7. Out of these 6 questions, you will have to attempt any 4. Now all the questions are of 10 marks. So 4 into 10 gives you 40 marks. Now there is no chapter combination in section 2 of chemistry questions come jumbled up from all the chapters and because of a huge syllabus reduction nothing can be predicted in section 2 of chemistry because generally a one total question was asked from mole concept but a huge chunk of mole concept has been removed so that cannot be the case this year so predicting the chapter combination for chemistry section 2 is quite difficult so guys, that was all regarding the question paper pattern. Now we will move on to a few tips using which you can maximize your score. Moving on to a few tips for your preparation. Now I know that a huge chunk of syllabus has been removed for chemistry, but almost all the important parts are still left. And if you want to score well in chemistry, you have to prepare very well. Now, the first thing that comes with chemistry is chemical equations. You need to know all the chemical equations properly and by heart because you will face many questions from chemical equations in your examination. So prepare all the chemical equations properly and try to learn them by heart. How to do that? Now say you are preparing a chapter. When you are preparing the chapter, list all the chemical equations that are present in that chapter and write all the chemical equations say at least thrice or four times. When you do that, you will understand the chemical equations easily and it will get stuck in your mind. Once you understand a chemical equation clearly and it is stuck in your mind, you will have no problems while writing it in your examination. 
so prepare all the chemical equations properly now while preparing for chemical equations one other thing is very important the conditions that are associated with it by conditions i mean the catalyst the promoter the temperature required or the pressure required so learn all the conditions properly for the chemical equations because if you miss to write any condition in your examination you will surely lose marks so prepare for the chemical equations properly and along with that all the conditions that come with it the next thing definitions you have a lot of concepts and definitions in your syllabus you need to understand those concepts and definitions and you need to learn them by heart because direct questions are asked from the concepts and definitions so prepare them well understand them and try to learn them by heart coming to the next thing that is processes now you have many processes in your syllabus for example haber's process for ammonia bayer's process for the production of aluminum many electrolysis processes so you need to understand all these processes properly the chemical equations associated with it and the conditions associated with it so prepare all the full processes properly because around 3 to 4 marks questions are asked from a single process you will get a table and it will be based on say bayer's process or haber's process so try to understand and remember all the processes in your syllabus properly coming to the next point that is organic chemistry organic chemistry is very important and i believe this year you will get around 12 to 13 marks of questions from organic chemistry in organic chemistry the first thing iupsc and nomenclature do that properly understand that properly and practice a lot of organic compounds most probably you will get one sub part in section 1 from iupsc nomenclature and many questions in section 2 from organic chemistry so prepare organic chemistry properly i told you about iupsc nomenclature understand that and practice that a lot then comes the chemical equations associated with organic chemistry each and every one of them the name of the process also and definitions that are in that chapter so complete organic chemistry properly it is very important coming to the final point numericals now a big syllabus of mole concept has been taken out i have seen that but still there is a little part left so whatever part is left for mole concept do all the numericals properly because you will surely get questions from those parts that are still left from mole concept so prepare that properly now along with all that try to go through your textbook thoroughly from the beginning till the end and practice whatever i have mentioned and other things also along with all that last 10 years questions in chemistry it is very important that you try to solve at least the last 10 years question paper if you do that i don't think you will face any problems while answering your question paper so do that okay now with that guys i come to an end of this video i wish you all the best for your examination and i know you guys will do amazing new videos on reception are coming very soon until then stay tuned as always this is rishi on behalf of reception signing off